Hello, we have a video here removing the hard drive in the HP Compact NC8230. Uh, most laptops it's the same way, but here we go in this one. On the bottom of the 8230, if you turn it over, the battery is at the top, and you might just take that out just in case, just in case you drop a screwdriver or something on the board. On the bottom left is your hard drive door. It says HP Mobile Data Protection System. On the right hand side of that, of that trap door there's two screws. I've already moved them but they're just small Phillips head screws. Then this cover is going to lift up. It's just plastic. If you still have your hard drive caddy here, there's a little black tab. Pull that and the whole thing away from the computer to the left and lift it up. Here's your hard drive. It's a 2.5 inch IDE or EIDE. The E is just enhanced and I would recommend looking for that one. Don't buy SATA and don't buy PATA. This happens to be a Western Digital Scorpio 120 gig, 5400 RPM hard drive. Definitely recommend this guy. This hard drive has an adapter on it, so it will work in the computer. This is what the adapter looks like. Um, if you're going to replace it, you can just take it off the old hard drive. Or if it didn't come with one, probably go to HP or see if you can find one on eBay for the NC8000 series. Anyways, if you're going to replace it, you're going to want to take this off. Make sure to pull it straight away from the hard drive because you do not do not want to bend these pins. It's def definitely worth taking a couple extra seconds of time and doing it right. As you'll see, that'll pull right off like that. There's holes there corresponding to the pins here. There's two columns of pins. One column has one less pin than the other one does. Same story on the back of the adapter. When you put it on the new one or put it back on, make sure that they are aligned right. If you have to push too hard, chances are you're not doing it right. Then there's two little bumps on top of this adapter, and they're going to match inside the computer here. You're going to set it right back in there, line the bumps up, and pull it back this way. So there's your hard drive. Um, I believe the unit came with a 80 gig, 5400 RPM hard drive, and uh, I have upgraded to 120. Uh, they're pretty cheap right now. You can find them on eBay or you can be old school about it and go to HP. Anyways, there is the hard drive removal, replacement, upgrade, whatever you guys want to call it, on the HP Compact and CD230. Thanks for watching.